Today, guys, is my birthday, and I have a lot of birthday presents for me that are from Thailand. There's a lot of boxes here, and I've told y'all in previous videos that the engine is not coming back to the United States. Well, it's all here right behind me. We disassembled the engine and shipped it in boxes, and it is here now. So I have a friend here who's gonna help me put all this back together, but before we do that, we're gonna unpackage all the boxes, lay it all out, see what we got so you guys can see it, and I wanna introduce you to Danny. All right guys, so Danny and I met on race week 2021, and he's got a big horsepower diesel truck. It's a Cummins, right? Cummins, for sure. It's a Cummins, and he has affiliation with Wagler Competition, so I'm gonna introduce him and let him tell you a little bit about that. Nice to meet you, man. Nice he's to got meet a you. YouTube channel. He's gonna be assembling this whole thing on his channel, so I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can find his channel. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been in the diesel industry for about four years now. I got a pretty high powered, uh, high horsepower Cummins engine, uh, diesel truck myself. But I have uh, become good friends with uh, Jeremy Wagler up at, up at Wagler Competition. And that's where we're gonna take all these boxes of the Wagler Competition, assemble it, and uh, bring it back down here and put it in a boat. Let's do it, brother. Let's do it. This box in particular I've had my eyes on because it's pretty jazzed up with some billet CNC aluminum that's anodized and I want to get it out because it's a little piece of eye candy here. So let's do this. And look at all that green. Mm. I kind of, I'm not going to lie. I, when they first said that, when they first asked me kind of what coloring I wanted to go with, I told them green and they were like, why does he want to go green? And you know, that's the affiliation of the name Gator Tail since you know, gators are green, but people have been in the comments lighting me up. Yes, I know that there's another brand of boats and drive systems called Gator Tail specifically, but I don't really care. It's more of just a fun name for the boat and uh, hit on it what you want. That's the name of the long tail once it gets here. I got to say, shout out to my buddy, Will who's helped put all this together. He over stuffs these packages so that every <laughs> single piece is safe. And I gotta say thanks brother for that. There's a lot of packaging in there. There's a lot, I know. That's why I'm saying we should break all this down yeah. before we load it in your car so that they, uh, there's, there's some room for you. So you don't have like a turbo sitting on your lap when you're driving <laughs> home. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Turn it over. <laughs> wow. It's not light. It is not light. That's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm holding it upside down. And that's the front, that's the front cover. This is the front cover, yep. Yeah, so the dampener, the dampener will go on there. Yep. And then water pump probably. Okay. Right? It's Looks cover. like. Yeah, water pump here. Okay. Uh, I would assume that this is that go that bolts up to the crank. Yeah, and that's this your one cam. of these. This is our cam, so this is probably oil pump, or this is probably oil that's pump. That's oil here. pump. That's gonna run the CP3 on that side. Okay, that's where the CP3. See, this is why I chose Danny, guys. <laughs> this guy knows way more about this stuff than I do. Well, I want to make sure we preserve all these gaskets because I'm sure that this stuff is not easy to get a hold of out no. in the states. Yeah, for sure. Well, I kind of want to start laying it out. Uh, we've got to make sure there's everything out of each box so that we don't forget anything. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of packaging in here, there's so we'll have, to, we'll have to dig through and make sure there's nothing else left. All right, first piece of the puzzle. Oh, sweet. You go ahead and pick the next one. All right. Uh, let's... Let's do this one right here. Let's do that one? Yeah, it has a lot of tape on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good sign, right? Let's get yeah. a blade means they, right here. Means they packaged it up well. Right. Any guesses? I honestly don't know. Hopefully it's a fuel system. Hopefully it's a turbo. Oh. What do we got? What do we got, man? I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy. Leave that thing on. Clutch. Oh, the clutch. yeah, there's the clutch. Ah. Uh, not as exciting as I thought it was. I thought I maybe it would be a turbo or the fuel system, but. It's so heavy. Yeah, no, it's the clutch. Is there anything underneath it? Let's see. Nope. All right, well then let's just leave it in there and move on yeah. to the next one. All right. All right, it's my turn to pick out a box. Okay. I'm gonna go for, hmm. <laughs> let's see the first part, this part's boring. 
What do you got? Possibly. Crank? Crank. Oh, nice. Right? That's what it looks like. That Where looks like a crank of them. Yeah. Didn't need this. Now, I think they actually did some modifications to this crank. Okay. I'm not sure what exactly, but I believe that they did do some. Some machine work Some to machine it. Machine work on yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll look up the specs and see what the, the clearances, the clearances, and all that stuff is. So. Oh boy. No, oh, that's a heavy one. Them diesel parts are not light, huh? No. Holy Toledo. Jesus. That's pretty. Another piece of the puzzle. We should probably lay the flywheel off next to it, huh? Yeah. This box is cooked. Yeah, it was poking out the side right over there. Yeah, it was. It doesn't look like it's damaged, though. Well, we got a few pieces. Yeah, a few pieces of the, the puzzle. The front, the clutch, the crank. Driving in. What do you got? What do we got? Oh, I know what this is. This is actually a pretty cool piece. This guy does a good job with his TikTok. He doesn't speak any English, really, when we met in person. But he's kind of a big diesel Ford Bay guy in Thailand. Like up and coming engine builder who built most of this. And I'll show you his logo on here, but this is the air to water. Oh, cool. And that's his logo. Ben's. So I'll link his TikTok in the description. Kind of a cool piece, right? Yeah, I like the brackets that they put on the back. I know, of right? Those the bolts are on right to the box, back of the block. Yeah. Nice piece there. Have we already opened five boxes? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four. so this is number five. All right, which one are you taking? I'm going to take box number six, but box number five that we opened. Number six. Wow. It's hard to see where they... I know, he does such a good job taping all this stuff yeah. up. You really don't know. You don't know where to start cutting at. And it all says fragile, so it's like, yeah, where do I start cutting? into it. I think it's the turbo. You think so? Yeah. No. Uh, uh, no? No, it's not. Dang it. It's a bunch of bolts. Blame. Turbo and exhaust. Oh, this is this is a cool piece. You should, you okay, should get this open. I know what this is. Alright, so let's see what's in this. Be right. careful not to let the blade touch it. Oh. Let's see. This is what I think it is, yep. Dude, they have this thing wrapped up. Yeah, it's, it's a nice piece. They're planning on this thing coming across the world. It, it did, dude. It really <laughs> came halfway across the world. They package it for that. Oh, is this what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Can you see it? Yeah, it's a, it's a shiny piece of, hopefully. Say it. Titanium? Yeah, I think yeah. you're right. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it is. Shiny. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Dude. Sick, right? Yeah. Look, it already has coal inside it. Yeah, dinosaur dust. Nice. <laughs> oh, and it has the guy's logo on it. That's cool. I know, isn't that, isn't that sick? So that one right there. Nice. All right, moving on. Well, there's some more stuff in here. You want to check, see what else is in here? We got bolts. I don't know if, I, I don't really want to open up. No, I don't want to open bolts. up bolts. Well, what's down here? I don't know, this is some kind of This bracket. is heavy. Let's see what it is. You know you're not tearing through that. You need, you know you... Need the knife. What'd you do with the blade? Me? You had it last. Did I? Did I? No, it's right here, it's under hmm. my foot. There it was.
Possibly something that starts with the T. No. Yes. Not yet. Come on, man. The suspense is killing me. Well, they have this thing packaged. Need the knife. Get in there. Oh, the exhaust manifold. And turbo. There it there is. There it is. Hot side. I see it. All right, now you just got to tear into it. You're, you're too close to just use the knife. You just got to muscle it out. Oh. Oh. There, there it is. is. Nice. I think that's the uh, second turbo. Oh, it's, it's not the primary. It's, oh, it's compound turbo. It is, yeah. Okay. Dude, look at that. I, and then this, if you, this piece is spring loaded on the, on the. Oh, and it goes on there. I think. Okay. Yeah. That looks about right. Yeah. Well, what's, what's does cool though. Spin? Oh yeah. We'll make some steam yeah and it's a hall set turbo too so those are really common in the u.s so yeah so that's that's a good sign cool let's throw that rig down here What's, oh that's the turbo drain oh okay custom custom turbo drain there's that ah <laughs> we knew it was gonna happen sooner or later what do you got in that box this is the cylinder head what? And it's a big dog. It's not light. I think the box that it weighs like 60 kgs. Look at this styrofoam over the bolt sticking now. <laughs> oh, wow. Bolts. This is another piece that looks super sick. Uh, scratch it. I can't emphasize enough on their packaging. Like. I mean, talk about like. <laughs> Thorough. This is, yeah, thorough. <laughs> this is expense. I mean, he must have been stressed about something getting broken. I mean, don't we all when we order something? Right. But like, dang. There was no expense spared on bubble wrap. At all. I lost my knife in the bottom. Uh-oh. Might as well just rip into it. Oh, look at that. Look at that anodized. I know, man. I'm telling you, this thing's, this thing's got all the, all the green anodized. Oh, there it is. Thick boy. Wow. That is thick. Got some oil in here. Should we open it all the way? I think we should. Yeah, why not? Maybe the airbrushing on the valve cover. Pretty cool. That is cool. You got another knife on you? Where does that put that? Uh, yeah, there's one right here. When you said that they were going to disassemble it, I thought they were like going to take it all the way down, but it looks like they just they conserved like a lot of it. They like did all yeah. the gearing and right, and which is nice for you guys. Yeah, for sure, it'll it'll definitely help out on where to put stuff back on. Okay, coming out. You ready? Yep. <clears throat> You got the valves poking out. Uh, it's only a four cylinder. <laughs> I know how lame. <laughs> uh, it's loser. only a four cylinder. Such a loser. <laughs> There's really no safe side to put this down on. No, there isn't. Um, I could put it on these styrofoam blocks on the ground if you want to. Uh, one of those big pieces of styrofoam, you can just lay it down on top of. On the valve, with the valves sticking out? Oh no, not with the valves sticking out. Hmm. Um. Yeah, because the glow plugs are on this side sticking out. What a beauty. Can we hold, stand this up? Can we hold that right there? Got it. Okay. Do you want to get a picture holding it? Holding it up? 
<laughs> Definitely an important piece of the puzzle right there. Yeah, it is. Dang, that thing's beefy. Were and, there all diesel heads like that? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the Duramax, well, this is a this is a smaller version of a Duramax it's a engine. a half a max. Right, half a max. Uh, but no, they're all pretty oh, beefy no, like my that. Oh, going to be pissed. Oh, my gosh. You got your clothes dirty. Right, we'll save that one. We're getting through these things. We are. Okay. But we still have another turbo to find. I know we do. Because this thing's compound turbo. It is compound turbo. It's exciting. I know. <clears throat> what should an engine like this make for boost? 60. 60. 60 pounds, yeah. Do you want all this in one video or you can break you it can up? You can break it up. Any guesses? Oil pan? That's Low what right. it looks like. Yep. Sure looks Oil like pan. It. I think you guys can figure out all the nuts and bolts. It's gonna be like a <laughs> absolute puzzle. Well, there was a bunch of there was a bunch of bags in that other box that just had bolts in it. So there's no IKEA assembly instructions on this one. No, not at all. And clearly, they didn't thread the bolt back into the hole that it came out of. So I think some of it. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is the. Well, you got the oil pan there, but it's the bottom. Looks like the bottom half of the engine. Yeah. Is there two? Is it like? Is it kind of like a? Maybe a three piece. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely oil here. Hey. Diesel if, oil. If it has Start. oil, then it has oil in it. Right? If it's leaking, it's got oil. Right. Yeah, so that's the bottom. The, <clears throat> I wonder if they call that like the upper and lower uh, oil pan. Probably. Probably. Okay, moving on. Got some little boxes. I think this is some of the fuel stuff you're... That's what I'm excited about. Really? Wow. Yeah. Well, because... Oh, this is wiring. Oh. Wiring harness, computer. There's probably some... These are probably the injectors. Mm, no. No key. This is all just wiring harness stuff. Okay. So that'll well, be a fun one for Jeff to figure out. Exactly. <laughs> that, that's what I was gonna say. The reason I'm excited about the wiring and the fuel system is because it's going over to our friends at Exergy, Exergy. Fuel System. Yep. And they're going to build a new harness. They are. Hook it up to a Bosch unit. Right. And well, the thing about it right now is it's on a stock tie. Um, what are these trucks called again? D Max. Yeah. It's on a D-Max computer, right. and the programmability of something like this, we don't even know where to start, really. I mean, it's definitely not in English, I'll tell you that. Yeah. I don't speak Thai. But they did a nice job building this harness off of here, so we'll see what Jeff can make of that. I'm, I think he probably wants to make his own harness to the Bosch computer. Right. So we'll let him handle that. So well, shout out to Jeff. Yeah, Jeff over at Exergy. Yep. And that, and that's exciting that there's multiple people collaborating to oh, get dude. this to get this done. I so. know it's such a special project. Let's look at the quality of that wiring here. So they have everything labeled. I know. Look at that. That's Is gonna make Jeff's. No, it's in English. Injector two. Uh, yeah, got a bunch of different stuff labeled there. Got some AN fittings here. Not sure where those go, but you guys can figure that out. Yeah. But the quality of it's top notch though. Oh, of the wiring? Yeah. Yeah, for it looks sure. good. It looks really good. Got Winston here. He's helping us uh, clean up as we open boxes. Hopefully. So you stay out of the oil. You're you're yeah. the wrong color to be playing in oil. <laughs> He's kind of a wuss anyways. He doesn't like to get his paws dirty. Uh He's more of a couch dog. Okay. Mm 
Now this was double boxed. I know. Interesting. Belt. Give you that. Nice. Definitely. Now we know our size. Yeah, get yeah. that on film. <laughs> Got it. It's a Mitsubishi belt. Is it? Yep. And we know, we know the belt number. Alternator. Oh. With some green billet. Okay. No, Winston, you can't chew on that. Nice. With some green billet. AC Delco? Is it? It doesn't have a brand on it. Uh, uh, there's a tag. Dianamo 12 volt. I kind of want to switch this over to lithium, though. I think the guys at Access Power want to set this thing up right. So Ooh, that'd be cool. I know. That'd be cool. Pop it up to like a 14 or 16 volt system, get some like super bright Wayland lights on it. Oh, there you go. I know. There Just you go. like build this thing right, right off the rip. Add this to the collection. Nice. Alternator. This is a very important piece here. I've already opened this box and I know it's in here. And that is multiple sets of head gaskets. In case oh, really? we blow them. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We got some new ones and I think we got the old one on here. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need multiple head gaskets. And I'm not sure what these gaskets uh, are. Intake. Intake? Yep, intake gaskets. That's a good box to keep. I'm gonna put this belt up here with the alternator. <clears throat> Winston, what's in that box? We have an exhaust manifold. Ooh. Oh, turbo? Turbo. Yep. Without a turbo. Without a turbo. So interesting. Oh, and we got uh, wastegate. Yeah. Wastegate. The wastegate looks different. <laughs> it's a tie wastegate. <laughs> I know, what are you gonna build these? I would leave that up. I would leave that up to Extra G. See what they have to and, say about yeah, it. Yeah, and see what kind of control we can get out of that wastegate there. I haven't ever seen one like that. It's unique. Yeah. And probably the stock one, like off the stock truck. Oh, okay. If I were to guess, right? That looks. That's, that's a, pretty cool. That's a hunk of metal right there. Yeah. That's a small. That's a tiny turbo. I know. So it's stage one. It's a stage one. Looks like a looks like a, a single cylinder uh, lawnmower. <laughs> it does kind of look like a lawnmower. Too. Yeah, single cylinder lawnmower part. Well, now we have both of our turbos. Yep, we found both of them. And a bunch more packaging. Packaging. Looks like this is internal oil lines. I'm not going to open that. Nope. Fully seals. Timing. Chain. Electric throttle. Do you think they uh, had to translate that? The right in? <laughs> no, my buddy will. He's, he's, he's American. Oh, okay. He's American, Ty. Gotcha. High American is the proper way to say it. High American. And he, uh, he speaks fluent English. Ain't oh, okay. I'm going to leave all this stuff in here. That's I was going to say, their handwriting and spelling is great in English. So. Yeah, no, he actually came to the, went to college here in America and then um, went back to Thailand to be with his family. Nice. Yeah. Oh, you dropped another one in there. I know, man. We're losing razor blades left and right over here. <laughs> so that's a miscellaneous box. That's miscellaneous. Bolts, parts. Oh, this is cool. Ooh, the crossover pipes. Yep. And intake. Oh, the intake. Yep. Okay. Cool. We're running out of boxes here. We are. Pretty quick. Oh, and then uh, it's for the oil filter. Okay. So it's kind of some oil catch sump, I guess. Right? 
No, well, that. You know better than I do. We'll figure out where it goes. <laughs> Normally, yeah. that's just integrated into the side of the the engines, but we'll figure it out. First thing first is we got to get the block on the engine stand and go from there. Yeah, seriously, get organized, lay it yeah. all out. See what we're working with. Hmm, this feels like injector. These old injectors, man, they're like wizard wizardry. Pretty much. That's empty, that's empty. These are kind of interesting. Is. Everything's fragile. Fragile. Everything's fragile. Nice. Gaskets. Gaskets. Um. Um. A lot of those things in here that I don't want to open. No. Dipstick. Uh, wire. Uh, what is this? Oil lines. Oil lines. Yep. Okay. Not opening that. Mm. No. Front timing cover. Gasket. Looks like. Do you know if they sent extra? Well, we ha we know we have extra head gaskets. We're definitely going to need those. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> hey, with all the boost, you never know. You never know. Uh, some and lines okay. and a uh, bunch of other knickknacks. Oh. oh, what do you, you got there? This is? No. Let me surprise you. Okay. Let me surprise you. This should give you a good, good idea. Oh, the rods. Very important piece of the puzzle here. <laughs> yes. The rods and pistons. Four of them. All four of them. How about that? And it looks like uh, a baby Duramax rod and piston. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. What does the bowl look like? Yeah. Same. Same very, as Duramax? Very, very much same. Why aren't these, why isn't this clamped down all the way? There's like no play in it. Because it hasn't went through the dowel part yet. Oh, I see. You just got to keep cinching her down. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't see the bearings, though. I haven't seen the bearings. They're probably in one of these little... Or they're on the block. Right. No? No, because they, no, they, they would the be on the crank, and yeah. they're not there. I'm sure they're in here somewhere. They're in there somewhere. Somewhere deep. And one of the packages that were extremely wrapped well. Right. A lot of them are wrapped well. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, we have one more box, and that is the biggest piece of the puzzle. Let me get some tooling here. The old dead blow on a flathead. Hey, you can't go wrong. Oh. Oh. There's a right tool for the job and a okay tool for the job. This is definitely the okay tool. <laughs> Wait till you see what's in here. What? Well, they definitely package this part well. Yeah. They didn't Another want... box. Oh. Another freaking box. Another box inside of a box. With a lot of tape. A lot of tape on this one. Oh, we got this one. Their, their shipping material must not ne be nearly as expensive as we have over here. It's definitely more affordable in all aspects to live in Thailand. Yeah. The dollar goes a lot further in some senses. Got an engine block for an Isuzu 4JJ1. Oh, what? It's like the best birthday ever, man. It is. I got a freaking engine from Thailand. Who can say they got an engine from Thailand for their birthday? Just me. <laughs> Literally, just you. There she is, dude. I see it. 
There she is. Oh yeah. Wow. There it is. So cool, man. Can't believe it finally made it. In all the glory. Well guys, that's it for the unboxing of the Thailand Longtail Riverboat engine, which has officially made it the same day that the boat is leaving Thailand. And that's gonna be a long haul. I mean, we left Thailand about one, two and a half months ago, and we finally got the engine here. It's been trickling in over the past couple months, but we got it. Decided to assemble this thing and get it running. And uh, shout out to Danny, who's helping us out, getting this yes. thing back together with Waggler and Jeff at Exergy. It's gonna be a fun project, and I cannot wait to rip this thing. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be the first one to ever set foot or float in the United States, and I got tons of plans from it, from ripping it with the jet boats, out on the intercoastal, fishing, whatever. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this thing. The next piece of the puzzle, after the boat gets here, is we gotta get a trailer. So I gotta get a trailer figured out. Mm. So, I don't know. <laughs> I've got some connections around here. This is a big boating town, so we'll get a trailer for it, but pretty exciting stuff. Pretty exciting stuff, right? Well, you've got a long drive ahead of you. I know, I gotta take all this stuff a thousand miles away from you <laughs> to Indiana. And then we gotta bring it back. And then we gotta bring it back. But it's cool, man. It's really cool. Oh, this is gonna this is gonna be great. Alright, guys, that wraps it up for today's episode. We'll see you next time. More long tail riverboat content to come. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you next time. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker's 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.